Lord. I've got to connect with my Father. I needed to hear those words, Son, I love you. And the, the day before we were to come back to Hawaii, I can still remember we were taking vegetables into the house. We'd gone to the market. And um, I'd put the uh, vegetables on, on the, we call it the, the hood. Is it the hood? Yes, the hood. And, and I said, I've got to tell my dad and I, and because we had such a dysfunctional family when the children, were, when dad was growing up, mum and dad, um, I was an early arrival and there was such a, a scenario of, of, of pain. It was during the war, at the end of the war. And I said, but I've got to communicate with dad. And, and, and I, I can remember the emotions of, of feeling constricted. And I said, but I've got to tell Dad. And I said, Dad, no matter what happened when you when we, when we were really young, uh, I loved you. That took so much energy for me to express that. And he, he, he didn't, he, he then, for the first time, he put his arms around me and said, I have one regret. And I, I thought, what's coming now? He said, I have a regret that when you were a little boy, I didn't do things with you. And I wept. I wept because my father had memories of the past, the military days, a training officer, a way of life that was not congruent with Christianity. And he felt guilty. He felt uh, unprepared to be a father. And that was the beginning of a new relationship with my father. And, and, and I, I can remember when God filled him with the Holy Spirit. You see, it's the Spirit. Only the Holy Spirit can be, bring change. And this, this is Pentecost Sunday. And after he had that radical encounter with, with the Holy Spirit, he was a changed man, a changed father. He was soft and gentle and caring.